Hey guys, today I'll show you how to add mods to your Eternal server. It's pretty easy, so if this helps you guys, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have issues, comment down below and I'll try my best to help. So the first thing you're going to do is go to your browser and then search up Eternals. Make sure you're logged in. I'm already logged in. And then once you're logged in, create. Okay, now once you're here, change the name to whatever you like save it and here you can also change the color of the text add emojis whatever and here is a little logo slash image you can also change that make sure it's java or bedrock depending on your version save this as well and press create here you can also back up your server to google drive i never had to i never played that long to back up my server now just press skip and now if you have paid minecraft and you don't want any mods this is already set up for you to go but i bet most of you don't have paid minecraft and you want mods so you can press change here or you can go to software here on the left side it's gonna go here now we have a few different options for mods we have kilt forge fabric neo forge and arc light and also if you want mod packs i made a separate video on it but you can also just press here now go to forge and then i'm just going to pick the latest version since it'll be easier that way install it make sure you see this little green tick if you don't it hasn't installed and then you have this new section here on the left side called mods press on it here you can pick whatever mod you like not whatever but some of these they don't have the exact same version since I picked the latest version I probably don't have most of these so I'm just gonna search for uh, well, better villages make sure it's curse forge if you picked forge see this is modern so that's a bit different so I just press there and this one has two not all of them do you get the latest version it just makes life simple like that now we've got a tick go here and wait for the tick as well what else can I add? Falling tree. Yeah. Now, latest version as well. Okay. Now, there's some things we can we need to change here in options. You can change the game mode. I'm going to keep it on survival. Normal. And in here, if you're playing cracked Minecraft, please turn this on. If you forget to turn this on, it won't work. I've seen so many people forget to turn this on. Like, oh, this is not working. Your video is stupid. It's not. You just forgot to click this. And then you can also change how many people you want. But nobody has more than 20 friends. So we'll just leave it at that. And some little silly things here that I never changed. There's also worlds. So if you have a map, a world you want to play with friends. You can just upload it here. By folder or zip archive. Or you can also generate a new one. When you do create the server, it's a random world. But if you want to make sure it's the one you want, change the name here, put whatever seed. And this is the only way that you can change to hardcore. So yeah, I'm not going to change though. Just leave it like, th like it is. And last thing, access. If your friend wants to turn the server on when they want and you don't want to play when they want to play, you know, whatever. Make sure they go to Eternals, create an account. Once they do, add their username. Oh, so this is a real person. And then here you can choose what they can access. This person can only access the start and turn off. This one, stop and restart. And then players, backups. And this one is full access. They can change the mods, the files, the versions, everything. Mm, that's it. Now just go to server. Oh, one last thing. If you went to worlds and you changed one or you put a different world, make sure you come to options and check that this is on. Because they change everything here. They restart if you change versions of the game, anything. Now, let's just begin the server. And there's an ad. Great. If you guys are liking this video so far, leave a like and subscribe. Okay. Now, just copy. And then open up T-Launcher. Sometimes... You also have to like be in a queue. There's too many people, but since when I, the hour that I'm making this video, 155, nobody is playing. So let's go to T Launcher. Make sure you have an account here. 
and then press T on mods. Create sample and then same exact game version. If you had a different mod type, here like fabric, whatever, choose this one, but I'm choosing forge. And sadly, this version does, doesn't support Optifine. But if you go to the older versions, oh, what's on? Most of them do, but we don't. So let's just press create. Okay, now you can change your mod packs here. This is the one that I created. So now that we're here, we can go to files. And if you don't remember what mods you added, just go to mods. So we have Better Villages, Falling Tree, and Library Ferret, which comes with Better Villages. Just open this, uh, Better Villages, Forge. Make sure it's the same version, or this won't work, guys. Falling Tree. Now, if this doesn't work, you can always go here and go to versions and make sure it's the exact same version as this one. You see? They are. Anyways, now... You can also add some mods that are not like server related. I think Journey Map is one. But it'll only appear on your side. Yeah. And shader packs we can't add because, well, up to fine. But if there is up to fine, you can just add shader packs. This doesn't affect the server. Now just press enter the game. Here you also have a timer. If this runs out, the whole server will shut down. But the you can add one minute when it gets to one minute. Now we just wait for this to load. So we had an error with falling tree. I'm just gonna take that out because I don't want any hassle. And go again. So this can happen, and actually this happens a lot, where some mods just don't work, and you have to try. Just start with one or two mods, see which one's wrong. If you put too many at one go, it's just too difficult to resolve and see what's wrong. Okay, so it seems to be working. Well, let's just make sure. Add server, copy and paste it, name it what you want, and press done. Refresh, and here it is. See what I did appears here if you save it and a logo. Now just press play, and here we are. Now guys, the render distance and simulating distance is not going to be great because, I mean, you only get 2 gigabytes, it's eternal, plus it's free. Yeah, one thing, you can't put commands like TP, you have to add a mod for that. If you want to change to survi survival or creative, you just go here and then press... Where is it? Players, 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 players. So I joined in. This is my account. I can press on it and I can... Where is it? Here. Turn it to creative. I can also kick myself out. I can make myself an operator. So wait. If I go back to survival and put myself as operator, I can go back. Yeah. Now I can put... Um... Uh, game mode and then creative since I'm operated I can actually do commands but if I'm not I can't do that we can go back we can also heal feed we can also starve if I put myself back to survival refresh this because it won't be the same survival and then starve look at that I'm starving so you can also play like a prank on your friends. Anyways, I'm now dying. Let me just heal. You can also teleport the person to certain coordinates. And change to other places. But that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hoped it helped. I made one a while ago. I think it was a year and a few months ago. So I made an update, updated version of the video. And yeah, leave a like and subscribe. See you guys on the next video.